Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 122 of Les Platinum Dungrump V3 Killing Harmony. Alright, so the game is now complete and we have entered post game. Let's get started by heading into the extra menu. Now, off screen, I've gone into the event gallery, the movie gallery, the artwork gallery, the BGM gallery, and the intimacy event, and I've purchased every single thing that we need to purchase at this point. Uh, it took my coins down from, I think it was 975 to 690, so that's good. And now we're gonna go to the casino before we move on to elements of the post game, because there's still stuff that we have to do. The first thing I wanna do is you'll see that I have 113,540 casino coins. I want to change that into maybe somewhere around the 500 to 600,000. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to play Outlaw Run over and over and over again. So I'll just quickly show you um, one go of this. I know I showed it already in the main playthrough. I'm going to go to Outlaw Run, going to bet all my coins, and we're going to hopefully get S rank. S rank in this one, in my opinion, is not that difficult. So let's see if we can do it. Time your X press there to get a, a boost. I can't believe I missed. Uh, Monokid there, but that's fine. And the idea is just to try and hit as many um, targets as you can throughout this game. It's, in my opinion, the mean version of this is more lenient in terms of your score requirement than the rest of the modes. Or, well, maybe not kind, but it's definitely more than normal. So, yeah, as long as you hit the majority of targets you're fine. The most important part is probably the bit coming up that I'll show you in, when we get there. Yeah, this part's the most important. You need to try and hit both as often as you can. I missed them there. There's one. It's not too bad. Honestly, you could probably miss all of them and still get it, but you know, the more you get, the better. I think this, yeah, this is Mono Kid. Gotta get out of the way. Try not to risk it. Nice, okay, and then split up again. Uh, okay, one, two. Losing your combo is bad, but honestly, it's so unlikely that you'll lose it. Yeah, this is pretty consistent. Now, if something goes wrong and you crash, when you get to this part, uh, cars will spawn on this path and there's nothing you can do to get around them. So, and unfortunately you can't restart these games, so you kind of just have to keep going and get what you get. You'll still obviously get a decent score, you should still get like an A rank or something, but yeah, it does suck. And then for this, just try and hit as many as you can. Focus on getting Monodam, because he gives so many points. You could honestly skip Monokid if you want. Oh, okay, so that's bad. But my score requirement is uh, 20,000, and you can see here that I literally almost got it. Even up, yeah, if I had just made it to the next thing, I would have got it. So anyway, at least that I got to show that off. Triple uh, A, I still got 40,000 coins out of it, so that's good. So I will do that off screen. And the other thing I want to do as well is I want to play the casinos because, or the slot, the slot machines because I want to try and get uh, 777 on Monokuma. So, oh, hang on a sec. Am I doing this right? No, no, I'm not doing this right. This, this is silly. Oh, actually, I, I did something good. Actually, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'll show you. Um, I forgot to do one thing. This is not a big deal. I forgot to do one thing. My, my apologies. Go to the premium exchange counter, and when you finish the game, you'll notice that there's a new prize here called the Super Lucky Button. It's 100,000 coins, and it says a shiny button that makes its owner feel like their luck will turn around. It may or may not pull in a powerful wave of luck. Now, this is a lot of coins, but it's fine because I'm going to boost up my, my score to like 500,000 off screen. So you want to buy that and then you want to play the casino slots and they should, um, it should give you a better chance to, to get, um, to get the 777 for that trophy. So I'm going to do that off screen and I'll be right back. Okay, fantastic. There we go. Lucky number seven. So you only need at least one seven and then all wilds or all sevens or whatever. Um, so I finally got it. It took me 10 minutes. I'll just explain what I did in a moment. Gotta finish these bonus games. Oh, look at that. I almost got it again. <laughs> oh, that was the last bonus game. Whoops. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was like, am I gonna get it again? <laughs> no. Um, okay, I'll explain what I did. So I was playing the red machine and then I was like, okay, let me move on to the blue and the green. The blue and the green didn't really seem to give me much. The red was giving me a lot. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do the red. And I 
played the red, it wasn't giving me, giving me that much. I stayed on it for like three or four minutes. It finally started giving me um, some good stuff and then I eventually got it. So fantastic. It took me about 10 minutes. I'm glad that that didn't take me any longer because I need the time to actually make progress. Uh, okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, as I said, I'm gonna do Outlaw Run about four or five times actually probably five or six times to get a nice big chunk of uh, casino coins and you'll understand exactly why later on but trust me this is the best way to the most efficient way to do it all right so i'll take care of that off screen i'll bear back okay i'm back we finally did it i have now 615,000 coins uh casino coins hopefully that's enough you might be wondering hey why did you do that i will show you very shortly let's get out of here back out and yes definitely save that didn't take me too long. Um, I actually don't know how long it took me, but it would probably have been like 10 minutes or something like that. I I won every single one except for the very last one that I wanted to stop on. And then I was like, damn, now I need to win the next one. Uh, but yeah, you'll see how this works. All right, we're gonna start our post game off with salmon mode, strengthen your bonds with fellow students. So let's head in here. And if you don't, uh, if you haven't played the previous ones, you might not know about this mode, but if you have, then it should be pretty familiar. Uh, Dan Gan Salmon, Salmon Team. Uh, Love Across the Universe. All right, that's just what it's called. Let's get started. I'll explain as we go. Hey. Shuichi, are you okay? Hey, Shuichi. Shuichi? That's me. Kaede is calling my name. Uh, where am I? What am I doing here? Uh, um... I remember I was on my way to school, like always, when suddenly I... I was pushed into a car. Before I even figured out what was happening, I lost consciousness. That's right. This is the Ultimate Academy, and we... We are... The 16 high school students with ultimate talents. And then... The Monocubs, they ordered us to investigate the grounds. Huh? Just waiting for the bell to play out. That's weird. That doesn't happen in the game. It doesn't like the, you don't get to talk while the bell is playing. You, you know what I mean? It doesn't interrupt it essentially. Was that the bell? Oh. Kaede, look at the monitor. Thanks for bearing with us! You bastards! Kept you bastards waiting, huh? Alright! Everyone, make your way to the gym, please! <gasps> the opening ceremony can finally begin! Dude. We finally finished. Uh, hang on. We finally finished our preparations! Hey. You do realize you just read your lines backwards, don't you? So long, farewell! <laughs> gym. Opening ceremony? Uh, um, Kaede, what should we do? Um, what should we do? Go, of course. Everyone else is probably doing the same thing. Uh, okay. True, but I'm a little worried about this. Honestly, it was more than a little. Despite my trepidation, we headed toward the gym. When we arrived, an eerie sound greeted our ears. It reminded me of an engine sound from a giant robot anime. And right at that moment... Everyone, behind Gonta! What? what the heck are these monsters? Wow. So cool! Hell yeah. They're Exosaurs! Highly mod mobile bipedal weapon platforms. They got lots of hometown pride too. Bitch. Well, whatever they are, they better kill off the Yogos and save me for last. So that means Run, Himiko! Why are you concerned about me all of a sudden? By the way. Hmm, didn't someone say they would kick all their asses? What the hell? Nobody told me about these. Alright, chill out. No need to panic. We're probably not in any danger. If they wanted to kill us, they'd have done it by now. 
As he spoke, Rantaro casually approached the monstrous machine. Then... So what do you want from us? You clearly want something. That's what the guns are for, right? Let me guess, you're gonna force us to do something, and if we don't, we get hurt. Hey. Well, you have our attention, so what do you want? And that's that. Huh? Well, aren't you a wise guy? Hey. I'll start us off. Listen up, here's what we want you punk asses to do. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> My heart's going 100 miles per hour. I'm gonna say it. You ready? Hell yeah! It's a... It's a killing game. Huh? What? Hey. Monodam, how dare you upstage me? Huh? Wait, wait a second. What did you say? Huh? If I heard him correctly... <laughs> no, that's not happening. My cute little cubs! I'm cancelling this killing game! Father! Father, is that you? Papa Kuma! Papa Kuma! Hey! Daddy! Where are you, Daddy? Huh? D Daddy? Suddenly, a spotlight cut through the gym. Teddy bear appeared. No. Yes, but that is no ordinary teddy bear. I can see it. The despair and madness swirling around that cursed thing. Hey, hey! Well, first of all, I'm no teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. And show some respect! I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. What? Headmaster? This is... It appears to be some sort of autonomous robot built with an uh, with a built-in AI, like me. The exosols are different, though. They're brainless buckets of bolts. Right. They're mindless killing machines that can only be controlled by us, the monocubs. Autonomous robots piloting weapons platforms? This is certainly turning into quite the story. No. Well, that may be, but what I'm worried about is this killing game you mentioned. What exactly does that mean? Yeah. Oh, you don't need to worry about that. I've decided to cancel the killing game. Yeah. Cancel? Did the stress of milking this series finally make you snap, father? <laughs> Don't worry, Papa Kuma. I'll help you relax. By making a monodam sandbag. I, I don't like violence or gore, so I don't really mind if it's cancelled. Pops must be lying. He must have a glitch. That's bound to happen when you get to be his age. Nope, your father has never had a single gli- oh. Glit, glit, glit. Oh. Glit, glit, glit. <laughs> glit, glit, glitch in my life. You're like a kid covered in frosting who swears he didn't touch that cake. Oh. Sorry, I, that was the wrong one. <laughs> Monotaro, and I, I thought Monos Monosuke. Uh, classic Pops, his pride is higher than the Eiffel Tower. Anyway, I've decided to cancel the killing game. And I've never glitched. I'm a professional, damn it. Then... So, what are we supposed to do then? There's no way you'd just let us go after all this. <laughs> May I? What is so amusing? Yeah. It's just... When I said it again, I kind of just phoned it in, and now I feel kind of awkward. Oh, awkward, sorry. There's only one thing I want you to do in this mode. In this mode. I just want you to have a fun time living at the academy. Huh? What? Mode? Yeah. Oh, don't worry about that. It's an inside joke. Anyway, as long as you guys have a fun life at the academy, that's alright by me. 
You're at that special age where it doesn't take much to get your hormones raging. Um, I don't get the point. We have all the ingredients for a reality dating show, you see? There's always one show like that on the air at any given time, you know? Like a bunch of guys and gals living under one roof getting the hots for each other. The audience just eats it up, watching to see who's gonna end up with who. That's what I want for you guys. I want you to star in your own reality dating show. Screw Quit screwing around. What do we gotta do that? Hi, hello. Yep, that kind of stock reaction is to be expected. But if you've looked around the Academy, then you already know, don't you? The Academy is surrounded by a huge wall. You can't escape to the outside world. And as long as we have the Exosols, you can't defy us! So, unsure. so what do we... So what do you say if we don't want to die? No, no, so do what you say if we don't want to die. You gotta be kidding me! Why do we have to do such a thing? Quit shouting. This is way more mild than what I originally had planned for you. Plus, I'm not saying you gotta live here forever. Does that mean you'll let us out of here? Weren't you listening? I said this is a reality dating show. And just like those shows promised, the couple who ends up together get to graduate. But uh, try to be quick about it, okay? Audiences get bored fast these days. <laughs> If no one ends up together after 10 days, this show will be forced off the air. May I? And what will happen when the show ends? My, my. Maybe that's when, when he'll make us do the killing game. <laughs> Kids these days, always worrying about the future as if failure is a guarantee. Oh, that's an interesting line. <laughs> Take dances, get messy, make mistakes, worry about failure when it happens. How nice. Reality dating show. That sounds so exciting! That'll give you a rager! Papa Kuma is on the pulse of society's trends! It's getting interesting! Pops is such a great capitalist, there's no idea he won't rip off to make a profit. And another thing. Oh, by the way, I know I said you guys just need to have a good time living here, but the romantic sparks won't fly if you guys just do whatever you want. The audience won't know who to watch if all 16 of you are just milling about. Hey, what the hell are you talking about? Telling us to fall in love or whatever? What do you want us to do? Calm down, I'm about to explain. In other words... When you want to spend time with another student, or in other words, when you want to go on a date, please exchange a date ticket. What's that? How do you go about obtaining one of these tickets? I never said these tickets were free, did I? Wanting something gives it value. In other words, you gotta shell out cash for them. <laughs> you guys have already seen a place on campus where you can earn cash, haven't you? Huh? Earn cash? That's right. I know, I know. I bet he's talking about the casino. Hey. Spoiler warning. Uh, Oops. Uh-oh, Monofanny's gonna get punished by Pops. In a democracy, everyone shares the blame. I feel so bad. This is all my fault. No, it's democracy's fault. <laughs> now then, I can't wait to see what kind of hot and heavy hijinks you get into. Thank goodness they did the laughing for me. <laughs> I stood there. Dumbfounded, with that maniacal laughing ringing in my ears. Everything here is maniacal and twisted. A school surrounded by a giant wall. Sixteen imprisoned ultimates. These bizarre stuffed animals armed to the teeth. And on top of all that, some kind of reality dating show? Without even a moment of respite, we became the cast of this twisted story. Um, just before I proceed, I want to actually point something out really, really, really interesting. And I think I realized something even more interesting about this. If you look at um, Tenko right here in this picture, she's sort of just to the left of where Monokuma is standing. Her left hand is covered by Monokuma. And something I didn't point out because I actually didn't notice it in, in the main game. This image, I'll just remove this. This image appears in the main game a few times. And 
Tenko's left hand is not animated. And I think now I realize the reason is because they must have created the, the image for this mode or this part first, and then decided that they just needed to copy paste it onto, onto the main game. And then they didn't bother animating her hand. So you can't see it, but I'm pretty sure her hand is not animated behind there. If I get a chance to show off what I'm talking about specifically through the event gallery, I will. Uh, anyway, let's keep going. So that in a moment of respite, we became the cast of the Swiss story. Okay, cool. I got it right. <laughs> that was the last line. Okay, salmon mode. We're about to get started. So I'll do an, a bunch of explaining as we go. With my mind still reeling, I struggled desperately to understand what had happened. Yesterday wasn't a dream. It's real. It's all horribly real. There's no sense worrying about it. I should get my mind off, off it. Just focus on what I can do. I made up my mind about it and forced myself to get out of bed. Alright, how should I spend my day today? Alright, let's go outside. Okay, so this is salmon mode. The very first thing that we want to do is let's head over to Monokuma here and we'll click on him. Huh? Huh? What do you want now? I wanted to ask Monokuma about, um, let's go to Monokuma's instructions. After all, the most important person you can love is yourself. How is anyone supposed to fall in love with you if you don't love yourself? Huh? You want to hear something with a little more substance? Hmm, this feels like a rule violation, but in your case I'll make an exception. <laughs> Once your affection for someone is half full, spending time with them won't be enough. The honeymoon phase only lasts so long before you gotta step up your love game. For a person like that, get a date ticket from the casino and take them out on a date. A change of scenery will let them see you in a new light, maybe even fall in love with you. Yeah, yeah. But remember, you can't invite someone on a date unless your affection is half full. Also, if someone invites you on a date, you should go, even if you're not that into them. It won't cost you a ticket and it won't take too long, so it's not a waste of your time. <laughs> anyway, do your best, Romeo. I'll be watching along with the audience. All right, so if we now click on Monokuma again and select the first option, my affection level. All right, let's take a look at your affection level, Shuichi. We get this screen, which we have seen in previous games. And as you can see right now, Kaito, Gonta, Maki and Kibo are all half full with the exception of Kibo, who's one point away. This relates to directly to how many friendship fragments you have with these characters. Throughout the game, we had five, 10, 15, 19 free time events, and I spent them, oh, well, actually, technically, Kaede had some in, in her chapter, she had four. Um, uh, so we had 19 with Shuichi, and that's what, who I spent them on. So now I'm gonna hang out with Kibo one more time so I can get him maxed out. Then we have to do all the other characters as well. This is going to take a while. I'm gonna try and edit this so that it's as efficient as possible. Um, so don't worry too much about that. But for now, let's just keep going and we'll just follow the mode as much as possible so you understand how to proceed. Have you come to extend an invitation? What would you like to do with Kibo? Spend time together? Shuichi, do you believe in metaphysical concepts such as des destiny and fate? As a product of science, I'm interested to see how others feel about such subjects. Alright, let's see. I spent some time talking to Kibo, the epitome of science, about unscientific things. <laughs> Kibo and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Kibo a present? Definitely. Alright, so let's give him something that I know he'll like. Hopefully I have enough of it. Uh, where is it? It's... Where are you? Where is it? It's so hard to see. That one. Oh, I only have one. Okay. Um, crap, I should have come prepared and I didn't. What else does he like? I know he likes robot oil. I never like to give away my pr like all of my presents straight away. Oh yeah, I haven't read those. I'll read those eventually. He might like, not like Astro Cake. Ah, crap, I can't remember which one. Ah, he likes this, yeah. Latest Machine Parts Catalog. Pretty sure he likes this. Thank you very much. Shuichi, thank you very much. I am humbled by your generosity. But... Did you give me this simply because I am a robot? I will report your robophobic actions. Are you okay? Kibo, is your back okay? Yes, if you don't remember, the last time we hung out with Kibo was in Chapter 5. We... He was... Uh, we were trying to 
he was trying to be like a maid or something like that or someone a nurse to take care of elderly people akira and he tried to lift shuichi and hurt his back <laughs> yes it feels better after i've rested so he just has to rest he doesn't have to go to get repairs done well then. shuichi about my robot business plan i've realized that there's an issue that must be addressed before i can implement it i've been told on more than one occasion that my that my backstory is somewhat lacking huh? your backstory if my backstory was more interesting, maybe I could be more than just an ordinary robot. Hmm, I'm not so sure about that. For example, if my family were killed by a monster, leaving me critically injured, or if I sought revenge against someone, you know, like a tragic hero, this way I'd gain more exposure to the emotions of sadness and vengeance. I suppose so. That does sound pretty cool. I'd need weapons, which I'd have to get from the professor along with my new backstory. I'm not that fond of robotic weaponry, but I suppose it's unavoidable. Hmm. Are you sure? I don't. I know you don't like weapons. Isn't that something you really wanted to avoid? But if I stay the way I am... Hey. I've said this before, but you really are the ultimate robot, Kibo. You shouldn't think of yourself as merely ordinary. Shuichi, your words make me extremely happy. However, I still don't fully comprehend what it means to feel that emotion. And though I detect that this is that this causes me to feel sad, I cannot comprehend that either. Huh? Sad? Yeah. Within me, I have a strong desire to feel like everyone else. To be able to say with pride that I'm friends with you and everyone else here. Hmm. Kibo. Could that be why he's so concerned? He wants everyone to accept him. Is that all right? Kibo, you don't have to think up a new backstory. Let's just keep thinking about the robot business together. Huh? Really? But you said that I really am the ultimate robot? Okay. Yes, that's true. But if you keep getting more business experience, I think it will help you learn new emotions as well. That's why I want to help you, Kibo, as your friend. Sh Shuichi. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. To think I'd feel such gratitude toward you. What a serendipitous mis miscalculation. <laughs> Hardly, Kibo. You were the one who told me that only I could help you. That's... Oh, that was a logical decision on my part. Because it's dangerous to expose your weaknesses to an equal, but not to someone who is beneath you. <laughs> so that's why he was always talking down to me. But... Our relationship is different now. I feel that you and I are equals. No. Uh, no, I have decided that we are equals, due to our special relationship. This is... Uh, yes. This is probably intuition. Huh? Intuition? Yes. Based on our interactions thus far, I believe I've felt something inside you. This judgment is not rooted in logic, but rather something akin to human intuition. That intuition is telling me that I can build a friendship with you, Shuichi. A friendship, huh? Yes, I suppose that is an equal, but special relationship. Shuichi! Please look out for me, Shuichi. Okay. And you for me, Kibo. We shook hands, one human, one robot. But that's not what's important. That's a real there's a real connection here. A true bond between me and Kibo. Alright, we did it, we got a friendship deepened. Kibo's report card has been updated and we got digital love. So yes, as you can see, this is gonna take a while to go through all the characters because there's a lot of talking and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna try and make it as efficient as possible, so just bear with me. We spent the rest of the day discussing robot business possibilities. And we got Kibo's built-in parts. <laughs> I love that. It's like it's always underwear, but he got like a built-in part. <laughs> I still have some time. What should I do? Okay. So now we're on the second half of the day and we're going to spend it with Kaede because she's best girl for Shuichi. Huh? huh? You came to invite me? What would you like to do with Kaede? Uh, the option's not there. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> what do you want to do? Since we're already outside, do you want to move around? Oh yeah, how about we go on a nice stroll and just talk? <laughs> Kaede and I went on a stroll talking together. Kaede and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Yes. Uh, let's give her... She likes this one. Cleopatra's Pearl Cocktail. I'm just basically going to go from the top down and try and give her the thing that she likes. Oh, and you pretty much can give every character a present that they like or present that they love. It doesn't matter. The only person that it matters on... Uh, actually, no. 
yes, give them either a present that they like or they love using the PSN Profiles Trophy Guide and uh, you should almost always get a friendship fragment. There is one special occasion, not for friendship fragments, but for later that I'll go over when we get there. Oh, I was just thinking about getting one of these. <laughs> Can't believe you already know what I like, even though we just met. Well, that's a detective for you. Shuichi. Oh yeah, you don't know much about music, do you, Shuichi? That's true. I kind of follow the trends. I don't know anything about classical. I guess that's true. Normal high school boys don't listen to classical music. But you've definitely heard of Chopin, right? I think that's how it's pronounced. Yeah, he's pretty famous, so I've definitely heard of him. You know? Chopin composed many solos and was even referred to as the poet of the piano. That title might mean nothing to you at first, but you get it once you listen to his works. He's He always performed at concerts. Then... You perform too, right, Kaede? Of course. I personally enjoy Prelude, uh, I don't know what OP means, so if someone knows what that means, please tell me. Prelude OP28 and number number 15. Or also known as the rain, Raindrop pre Prelude. That's right. Oh yeah, speaking of Chopin, I played the three waltzes, OP34, in front of a king before. I'm, I'm guessing OP is short for something, but I just don't know what it is. A king? Yeah. Yeah, some European king. He had to keep his identity a secret. Huh? What? Why did he have to do that? He saw my performance at an international competition on the news, so he came to Japan. Uh. Wow. <laughs> but he looked like your average Joe, nothing like a king out of a fairy tale. I don't think a king would like to be called an average Joe. Uh. But he talked like a king, his speech and mannerisms were totally not his era. It is as if a god dwells within your fingers. Jeez. He knelt down when he said that. I was speechless. I don't know how to respond to that. Could it be? Did any other famous people come? Yeah. yeah, sorta. A representative of Juilliard, famous pianists. I was really nervous back then. Like, what were they gonna tell me after? But in the end, I performed my usual way and hoped they enjoyed it. Hmm. That's incredible. You must, re you must be really amazing if you have fans like that. <laughs> no way, Shuichi. I'm an ordinary high school girl who just happens to be a piano freak. I don't think such important people would come to see an ordinary pianist. Huh? Well, you're the ultimate detective, Shuichi. One day, you're gonna get famous people requesting you to solve their cases. Uh, no, probably not. Alright, I'll first hang out with Kaede. Yay! Yeah, you don't get to do that in the main game, because unfortunately she's gone by that point. Kaede and I parted ways, and I returned to my room. Man, I'm sick of these planes! Go away! It's so annoying. All right, well, I'm just gonna have to bear through it for this moment because I need to explain how the nights work. So now at night, you get to go to the casino and let's talk to a few of the monocubs just to see what they say. You can buy casino coins from me. It'll cost you a bunch of mono coins though. All right, so here with Mon Monosuke, uh, you can trade your casino coins, your mono coins for casino coins. We don't need to do that because we've got a lot. Let's talk to Monokid. I thought I had a thousand coins, but now I'm down to zero. I'll just have to sell Monodam at a pawn shop. <laughs> Monodam's over here. I'll just quickly go through all these. Ricola! Is that like a commercial? I, I swear in my brain that's a com commercial. But I might be like for like an Italian sauce or something like that. If you don't know which price to get with your coins, I recommend the Mono Emergency. It'll give you one additional block of free time to use during the day. Why does it do that? I don't know, it's beyond me. All right, that's actually a really good point. Thank you for saying that, uh, Monofanny, and we will um, get that in a moment. I'll explain it again. If you earn coins at the casino, you can exchange them for prizes. You can also get date tickets by earning coins here too. All right, so in here, what you can do is you can do Outlaw Run, Treasure Hunter Monolith, Salmon Fishing, or play the casino, uh, the slot machine. Sorry, I keep saying casino, <laughs> playing the uh, play the slot machines. You get one attempt at each of these and you get about somewhere like two, three minutes to play these machines and then the game auto kicks you out so you can proceed. Um, you can continue with the mode. We're actually gonna back out because we've actually got a bunch of coins uh, already that I did off screen. This will save us a lot of time, trust me. If you leave, you can't come play again. Would you like to leave the casino? Yes. When you leave the casino, you'll be taken up here to the first floor 
and then it says, did you have fun? You can trade coins for prizes. And now that we're up to here, if we go right to the bottom, you'll see that we have the access to the date ticket and the mono emergency. These are the final things that we can purchase uh, in regards to presents in this area. And they only unlock once you've, um, once you've done this mode. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna buy a bunch of mono emergency. I don't know why they only allow you to purchase one at a time. It only costs 50 um, casino coins. We're gonna buy a bunch because we're gonna need them for a while. I'm gonna buy 20. You don't wanna buy 99 or 100 and I'll exp uh, explain why event or Basically, you don't wanna buy that many because eventually we're gonna have to skip doing the days to get to the nights very quickly. Well, we might have to, and you don't wanna, you have to, like mono emergency will automatically apply as soon as you enter the daytime. Oh, it says a suspicious looking energy drink. Not only will it increase your energy a hundredfold, but it can also manipulate time itself. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So uh, you can also get a date ticket, a ticket that's used in the Love Across the Universe show. You're only allowed to use it with someone you've collected friendship fragments from, and, and the, uh, it really should say all friendship fragments from. Um, we can buy some, it's not really important. We'll, we'll buy like 10 for now. Uh, we're gonna need quite a few of these. Let's buy 10 for now. And now this one, the key of love, a key to a certain place filled with greed and lust. You can give it away, but something good might happen if you keep it. So the way this works is if you purchase a key of love, when you go to sleep, Monokuma will show up for the first time and he'll invite you to use the key of love to head to the Hotel Kuma Sutra, where you'll get to spend the evening with one of the other characters. You need to spend the evening with every single character in the game. However, which character you get is random. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to, and these are expensive, they're 10,000 each. So the first thing you want to do is you want to buy 15 keys of love. Now why 15? Because without Shuichi, there are 15 characters that you can hang out with. And if you get some crazy stupid luck where you manage to hang out with every single character once all the way through, then you'll only use 15 keys. However, what will most likely happen is I'll get somewhere around seven, eight, maybe nine characters that are unique and then the remaining six will repeat. If that happens, and let's say I get nine, then I only have to buy six keys of love and keep purchasing less and less keys until we're down to one, and then I'll just purchase one key at a time until I get it. Um, or I could also do something else where I'd purchase like uh, maybe three or four keys at a time. Anyway, you, you'll, you'll see what I mean. So that's all that done. Let's back out. And now let's see, Monokuma should pop up here. Oh! Hero shouldn't be asleep on the job. It's pathetic. Yeah. Good morning. Although it's technically still night, do you feel well rested anyway? Huh? Monokuma. Yeah. Nice face, Shuichi. You definitely look your best in the morning. What the hell does that even mean? <laughs> you could look better though. I'm pretty picky about people's morning faces. Hmm. What are you doing here? How rude! My time is very valuable, you know. Since you fell asleep still clutching the love key, I went out of my way to come wake you. I really wish you were more appreciative. Uh, um... Love key? You mean this thing? I won at the casino? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. I'll tell you how to use it. Huh? How to use it? <laughs> that key opens the way to a very special place. A place you might have seen in the vicinity of the casino. Hint, hint. Oh right, that building. I suppose it would have this kind of key. <laughs> you look like you figured it out. Good. A healthy teenager's brain is supposed to be obsessed with sex and lust. That key you got there should help you clear out some of those carnal desires. Oh, are you starting to get worked up? Are you ready to let it all hang out? Now then, please read the instructions. It's time for the talk, the love key talk. This is a key that is used to unlock the love suite. When night falls, you and one other person will be invited to the love suite. There, you will be part of that person's fantasy. They will see you as their ideal and basically just swoon all over you. Think of it as kind of a dream that lets you escape this cruel, dark reality. That's why it's so important to play the role that person wants you to. If you do some, something that breaks character, the other person will wake up in anguish. And what happens there stays there. Memories are wiped when you, ex when you exit. It's like a one night stand within a dream. Probably best that you both forget it. 
Well then, that's it. Stay safe, enjoy. Oh, you seem skeptical. Why don't you try it out for yourself then? Go ahead, take that love key out for a spin. Now then. Now then, let love take hold of you. It'll make you sweeter than a bear's honey pot. All right. I watched Monokuma bounce away, stunned. The key felt heavy in my hand. Well, I suppose it couldn't hurt. Alright, here we go. So the game will ask you, would you like to use the love key? And we have to say yes. Uh, another thing to note is you have to do this for the platinum. You have to. Let's see who we get first. Okay, Kurumi. I actually, my final character to let you know in practice was Angie and it took so long to get. I was so frustrated. But uh, hopefully that doesn't happen here. Alright, Kurumi. Every time I come here, I play the role of their ideal, like some shared fantasy. I wonder how it will be with Kurumi. I don't know if she has any weird fantasies. May I? Master Shuichi. Huh? huh? Me? Yes. Of course. Uh, uh, I was confused because you called me Master. That is... Because you are my master. I, Kurumi Tojo, will offer everything that I have to Master Shuichi. This is Kurumi's fantasy? I'm part of her dream? It seems as though we have a servant and master relationship. In any case, I can't break character now. Kurumi would wake up from her dream and feel terrible. I can't let that happen, so for now, I'll play along. May I? Master Shuichi, I must tell you something today. Huh? W what is it? I was employed by the master, your father, for a very long time. However, that ends today. I will leave the mansion tomorrow. Huh? What? Why this is all of a sudden? Why this is all of a sudden? I wonder if they wrote that to be as awkward as that sounds. What? Why this? Oh, uh, why this all of a sudden? Okay. That is because... Shuichi, will you promise me something? What I am about to tell you must remain here. My secret. Kurumi's voice became gra gravely serious. Okay. All right. I understand. I promise. I nodded firmly. Thank you very much. I am convinced you, of all people, will keep the promise, Master Shuichi. Definitely, since you are the man I love. Huh? I'm... what? The man you love? Yes. I mean every word of it. Although I am the ultimate maid, I do not know how to handle my own emotions. Kurumi looked more fragile than I had ever seen before. To be honest, when I first laid eyes on you, I was quite worried about your well-being as the heir to the Sahara family. I knew it was my destiny to nurture you and help you grow. I know I have not fulfilled my destiny yet, but somewhere along this path I became attracted to you. The generous smile you show to the weak, your wisdom as the ultimate detective. Although you are still unsure of your role, you have the courage to move forward. But most importantly, with your kindness, you treat me as an equal. And that is a problem? I don't understand, Kurumi. I see you as my equal. And a woman who... I do not agree. You mustn't. Please do not say such a thing. Huh? What? That is... You must remember your duty. You are the heir to the Saihara family. That is... This is what I have feared. My feelings will hinder you. They will pull you away from your destiny. My love will become a bad influence to you. That is why I must leave. My pride as a maid forces me to. Wait! Wait a minute. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. What? Hey. Your feelings of respect and love for me can never be a bad thing. I won't let you talk that way, Kurumi. Oh. Master Shuichi. Kurumi didn't say anything for a while. However, <laughs> the calm, perfect composure she always kept began to crack. As teardrops fell freely from her eyes, she cried as a child would. I reached out to her shaking shoulders and held her tight, cradling her. Such kind words. I am in fact 
infatuated with you. I love you. Please allow me to stand by your side forever. All right. And we did it. We completed our first um, thing. We should get a trophy for this, actually. Love Suite, new theme. You've acquired a new theme, Love Suite. Giving it up at the Hotel Kuma Sutra. Awesome reference to the Eagles Hotel California right there. I, I didn't, like, I never really noticed that song too much as a younger man, but as I got older and I started hearing it more, I was like, this is an amazing song. Definitely, like, like probably top five songs of all time. So good. So haunting and just unique. Unlike anything else. Amazing. What? Is it morning already? Last night with Kurumi. Was that a dream? But then, why can I still hear her voice? Received an allowance of a hundred coins from the casino. Now that's casino coins, not mono coins. Very important distinction. All right, how should I spend my day today? All right, and that's oh, wow. We actually this is awesome. Okay, so Marky showed up. Now the reason Marky showed up is because she wants to go on a date with us, and we're gonna say yes because this is uh, this saves us some time later. Hey, are you free right now? Should I accept the inv invitation? Yes. Well then, where are we heading to? I don't really care where we go. Okay, so let's pick, uh, it doesn't really matter, we have five of these. This is similar to what happened in, I don't remember if it was in the first game, but I, I, I'm pretty confident it was in the second game. We're gonna head here to the AV room and we're going to, just bear with me for a second while I find this. Ah, oh, here it is. Uh, I wasn't expecting to get this. We're gonna head to the AV room and we're gonna spend a day, oh well, I don't need to use a date ticket, normally you do, but um, in this case we were kind of lucky. We decided to hang out in the AV room. It looks like we're the only ones here. What should we do? Okay, so we have three, three options. Watch a documentary on bugs, on athletes, and on assassins. We need to pick one and based on what we pick, we either get like a really good response, an average response, or a bad response. So. Bugs is definitely not her, that would be Gaunter. Athletes is good, she is an assassin, but she might not want to necessarily talk about assassins. So yes, the correct answer is watch a documentary on athletes. Now, thankfully the PSN profiles trophy guide, which I mentioned earlier, uh, exists and the creator, you know what, I'm gonna credit them right here because the creator uh, is Golden Devil Gamer, Mana Fear and Pixelated portal. They published it on the 15th of October, uh, 15th of October, 2017. It was last updated on, on 21st of October, 2021. And not only that, but it won the guide of the year 2017 from PSN profiles. And boy, does it deserve it because the level of detail and resource that this thing has is obscene. So congratulations to them. They, uh, they really knocked it out of the park with this one. Okay. So let's pick, um, watch a documentary on athletes and see what happens. That's true. I don't mind watching. I'm impressed with how athletes train their bodies. Maybe if I watch how they throw the javelins, it could help me with work. Did you know you need a certain skill to throw a long pole-like weapon in a straight line? Sorry. Wait, why am I talking about this? You don't need to know this. It was a sight for sore eyes, watching Maki genuinely excited about something. Of course, if the subject were more peaceful, that would have been better. Good. It seems like we both had a lot of fun. All right, so if it says good, yeah, that means you picked the, the best option. And now I'm gonna demonstrate exactly what that did. Um, so yeah, we got like a little bit of a freebie there. Oh, hang on, there's a little bit more. <laughs> I never expected to have this much fun. Thanks, because of you, I forgot about work and other negative things. Ew. You're a really weird guy. Let's go back to the dorms. All right. Okay, cool. All right, how should I spend my day today? And now we can actually exit and we can start our day two. Now, you'll see under becoming friends on the left there, we have the mono emergency. So earlier we hung out with Kibo and we hung out with Kaede and then that was it, the day finished. But because we got the mono emergency, we can now uh, hang out with three people. So we're going to hang out with Kaede three times and that's going to get her to friendship fragments four out of five, which means she's going to be on four out of five here. If I go to Monokuma, I'll just quickly show you this. 
Um, Marky, who we just hung out with, we got a good. So she, okay. She didn't go to the next level, which is actually kind of strange. I actually thought that she would, but that's okay. She will pro probably go up if I get a chance to hang out with her again. Uh, you can see Kaede has gone up because we spent one time with her and Kiba is also maxed out as well, or at least halfway maxed out. Maki should have gone up, but there's a bit of a weird thing with the game where it's like, it, you're supposed to hang out with a character five times and then that's supposed to get you up to max, but the game's like, ah, oh, sometimes it'll give you, like you'll have to hang out with that character more than once, or more than five times to, in, in fact, all of them need at least six and some of them need seven. I think Angie was one that needs seven, which is a weird, weird thing. That's what I was mentioning before. So anyway, we didn't get to increase with Marky, but that's okay. We'll probably only have to hang, hang out with her like five times later. Uh, also, the characters that can come to your dorm room, I never noticed this broken seam here in the wall. You can actually see through. That's weird. And on this side too. So the characters that can come to your room, like Marky just did, are only characters that you have maxed out friendship fragments with. So only Marky, Kibo, Gonta, and Kaito at the moment can do that. Okay, and we're gonna hang out with Kaede, but I'm just gonna take a quick break, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. We're gonna hang out with Kaede, but there's one more thing I wanted to show off, and that is the presence. So, Kibo's are, are undergarments. Parts built into Kibo's waist. They protect the delicate parts of his body from temperature and humidity. They need to be changed daily, but can be reused after being washed. <laughs> Variety cushion. A cushion that expresses the will of the outside world to abandon killing games and watch human relationships instead. This unlocks love across the universe. Key of love, a key to a certain place filled with greed and lust. You can keep, you can give it away, but something good might happen if you keep it. We read that one. Um, to each their own roulette, a lucky roulette with ups and downs that can impact people's lives. This unlocks ultimate talent development plan. We'll get there soon enough. We had team Danganronpa employee badge, proof that you've cleared chapter six, a memento of Samugi. It's a badge that team, it's a badge the team Danganronpa employees wear. Easter egg, proof that you've cleared the epilogue. The traditional item awarded at the end of a Danganronpa, of a Danganronpa, uh, and we read those too. Cool. So we have not many, uh, not many uh, presents to get now, but we're we're still going through it. And the other thing is system, and there's love suite. Unfortunately, there's no, you know, attachment to it. The only uh, we won't get 28. I think it is. We're not going to get 28 because I cannot be bothered trying to do the escape uh escape in um in chapter one without any uh what are they called electro hammers so yeah all right i think i'm gonna hang out with kaede and i think this will be the end of the episode hopefully it doesn't go over too much but because i actually don't know how much time i have but we'll see what's the matter do you feel like playing the piano what would you like to do with kaede spend time together if that's the case then i'll teach you oh you don't need to feel bad or anything okay when I teach, I notice my own bad habits on the piano. I still have a lot to learn. Okay, let's give her that Cleopatra's Pearl cocktail again. Kaede did her best to teach me the piano. Try to go a little closer. Definitely. And this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was just thinking about getting one of these. I can't believe you already know what I like, even though we just met. Well, that's a detective for you. Hey. Shuichi. Uh, what? You scared me, getting that close. Sorry. Oops, sorry. I get, I just got super excited. Huh? What is it? Yeah. Let's play a piano duet together. Uh, a piano duet? I see. Oh right, you don't know yet. A duet is when two people play on the same piano. Huh? You could do that? Of course. Since, it's a, since a piano has 88 keys? Uh, I thought she was gonna continue. Now that she mentions it, I suppose pianos are pretty wide. You know? I want to know more. I want you to know more about the piano. That's why a duet with you would be perfect. Wait. Well, wait a minute. What's the matter? What's wrong? Is there a problem? Hey. It's just, it would be such an honor to perform with you. I don't know. Jeez. Whatever. I'm just a normal high school girl. Uh, uh, but but I've never played piano before. Right? Everyone's like that in the beginning. You gotta try new things anyway. I soon found myself in Kaede's lab, in front of her piano. Oh, right. Okay, let's start practicing. Sit in front of the piano, Shuichi. Uh, okay. you know? Now, put your fingers on the keys. Hmm. Like this? Uh. Oh, don't place your fingers flat. Keep your fingers light, and don't pre press the keys too hard. Uh, uh like this? Um. Bend them a little more. Pretend you have an egg in your hand. 
I'm gonna touch your hands, okay? So you know how to play in the correct form. She's so close. Touching me. She's soft, warm. What am I thinking about? I hope she hasn't noticed. Okay, just like that. Make sure your uh, only your fingertips touch the keys. Huh? Hmm, Shuichi, you don't look very focused. Uh, I'm sorry, I'll do it right this time. Uh, aren't you a little too close? It's just really hard. Uh, let's go with this one. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Well, you're pretty motivated now. I'm happy to see you so interested. Good, she doesn't think I'm weird. <laughs> hmm, that sprite for Shuichi doesn't look that common. Like, he's like, phew! Um, <laughs> you look so relieved all of a sudden. I'm, it's not like I'm gonna scold you or anything. Uh, okay. Alright, there we go. We hung out with her again. I think three more to go. Kaede spent some time teaching me the basics. Kaede was so close to me the whole time I had trouble focusing. But now I know why they called her the piano freak. Good job. Yeah, you're pretty good, Shuichi. I think you can play a basic song now. Really? You think so? No, I'm not that good. You're just a great teacher, Kaede. No. Well, the great Kaede Akamatsu is saying you can, so be more confident. Kidding about the great part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. I feel a bit more confident now. You know? With pianos, music will play as long as you press the keys. There are a bunch of people who have taught themselves and went a long way. I'll do it. So you'll be fine, Shuichi, since I'll be here to teach you everything. She'll be here. Alright, nice. Got another update with her. Oh, I never explored Digital Love. I'll, I'll have a quick look at that before we finish up. I played until Kaede and I were satisfied, then returned to my room. All right, so the other thing I'll mention just before we finish this episode is this is going to take a little while, as I said. I would love to finish this in about 10 episodes, I wanna say. Uh, I've thought about trying to do this in like an edited, w edited way and I'm still hoping to do that but I don't know if I can promise that because I it's a struggle to get that, the amount of episodes out a week that I do, uh, especially now that I kind of do like a few hour long episodes here and there. So I'm just going to do what I can. Please bear with me. I know this is not the most interesting thing in the world but, oh, well, I mean, to some people it might be interesting to people who are super devoted fans. But it's just, yeah, we need to go through it to get the platinum. Digital Love. The reticle will lock onto nearby V points while concentrating, effective during non stop and mass panic debates. That's not too bad, but yeah, we didn't get it. Okay, so we'll leave things here. Um, we've hung out with Kaede once during this day. We have two more times staying out with her because of the mono emergency, and we'll continue next time. So for now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 122 of Let's Platinum Dung Ropper V3 Killing Harmony. My name's Ultima456. You're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.